Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. This is the second video in a series that focuses on taking a single geometry for a moveboard all the way to volume mesh. In this video, we will focus on removing laminate edges. Here we have our geometry again, courtesy of Ornell. Last time we identified laminate edges along this upper lip, which we will defeature and do to this gap on the lower surface. Let's start with the lower surface. We can address this in two ways, either increase the assembly tolerance for the entire bottle, or we can remove just this small sliver piece and patch over it. I'm going to use the latter approach. First, we need to create some curves to use for trimming, and to do that, I'm going to first create connectors on some of the boundaries so that I have nodes to snap to. Now I can use the line on database option, select the clip to constrain to, and just select the two endpoints for the straight line. Now you can trim the quilt using Edit Trim My Curves. Select the database curve we just created, imprint, and then I'm going to use the Apply and Select to deselect the sliver piece that we want to remove. So we can go to Create Patch. I'm going to enable the Use Boundary Tangency option and select the boundaries with the arrows pointing towards the adjacent surfaces to ensure that the patch maintains tangency and generate the surface. Now let's work on defeaturing the lip on the upper surface. But to do this, we first need to trim off this small slipper piece. I'm again going to create some connectors on the adjacent boundaries. And I'm going to split this long connector to give us a point that roughly lines up at the end of this 90 degree turn. Go to create draw curves, and this time I'm going to choose the curve on database option. Again, select the quilt to constrain to and select the two endpoints. Now I need to make sure that I'm using the Bezier curve segment type, and I also need to make sure that the slope guide option is checked. And as I move the slope markers around, you can see little dashed lines tangent and orthogonal to the end of the connectors. I'm going to snap the slope to the tangent line. And now I can either eyeball a good distance along this line, or I can open the advanced frame, control click the square, and use the guide scalar attribute to precisely set the position of the slope point. I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. And now all I need to do is trim the quilt, but this time I'm going to keep everything. Now we just need to split the rounded corners off of both models. and we can just hide them. I find it works a little better to create a patch like this in sections rather than all at once. So I'm going to define a few more database curves to define the ends of those sections. And now I can just create another tangency patch. Finally, we will go back into Assemble Models, Assemble Everything, and all of the laminate edges on the interior have gone away. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.